After losing their home and many of their belongings in a fire that tore through their house last night, but today a little relief when they found that not everything had burned. A home with 13 years of memories where six kids were raised up in flames. We could see the flames uh, on the side over here in the back of the house and I'm like, oh my gosh. Lynn Shigaris, who lives next door, says she and her neighbors watched the fire in fear. We were just praying that it didn't spread to, you know, to other houses. The flames ripped through this home in the 5500 block of Rogue River Highway on Sunday evening around 545. We spoke with Louis Gross, the man who owns this home. He was too emotional to speak on camera. But he says he was in the garage and his 19-year-old daughter was inside the living room when the fire started. She was alerted by the smoke detector. We believe she was sleeping at the time. Investigators who were back on scene Monday morning say the 19-year-old was the only one in the house. They believe it may have started in the kitchen or on the back porch. Gross, the homeowner, says he thinks the cause was electrical. His home built in the 1930s. I see him lose everything he has. You know, it's just... It was hard. But the family says they're just grateful everyone, including a dog and two cats, this one named Haas, was okay. And out of the ash and rubble, these urns, family members, including Grandma May, Grandpa Leland, and Aunt Wanda, were saved too. Thank you, Jesus. A family picking up the pieces, salvaging what they can, but thankful they have each other. They're just really good people. The homeowner says he hopes someone can help him rebuild his home as he did not have insurance on it. Meantime, community members are stepping in to help. The homeowner says Grace Baptist Church and New Beginnings Christian Center, both in Rogue River, have come together to help his family.